Education Secretary Betsy DeVos today announced a review of how the department investigates sexual assaults in schools. The Education Department has a huge backlog of cases, and as Patrick Terpstra with our Scripps Washington Bureau discovered, many of the claims involve K-12 children. I am the mother of a rape victim. Deborah and Martin's son said he was sexually assaulted in a school bathroom by another student at a Virginia school. The first thing I said to him is, you're very brave to tell your story. We agreed to withhold the family's last name to protect their child. They say the incident happened during lunch when he was in seventh grade and that school officials initially dismissed it as a game of chase with possible inappropriate touching. Days later, the parents say a medical exam confirmed physical signs of rape. By then, it was too late to collect enough evidence. The schools, through their lack of action, really denied my son his chance at justice. Deborah and Martin filed a Title IX complaint to the U.S. Department of Education against Fairfax County, Virginia Public Schools. Title IX is a gender equality law and requires any school receiving federal dollars to address sexual assault among students. They filed their case two years ago and are still waiting for a response. There are 153 unresolved sexual violence complaints against K-12 schools nationwide, compared to just 16 cases five years ago. On average, we found investigations lagging for 17 months. That's almost three times longer than the department's six-month goal. The Department of Education is our last stop for uh, any kind of justice for my son. In a speech Thursday, Secretary Betsy DeVos said the Obama administration's policies overlooked the rights of the accused and burdened schools with confusing and elaborate guidelines. She announced a public review of how the department conducts investigations. To replace the current approach with a workable, effective and fair system. But there is concern the new procedures will fail to reveal patterns in schools that respond poorly to sexual misconduct. The changes come as the Education Department plans to reduce staffing at the Office for Civil Rights. The Office for Civil Rights has some of the lowest numbers of employees it's had since the 80s, with the highest number of complaint volume coming in. Fairfax County School says federal law prevents discussing the student's case, but said it vigorously pursues and investigates all allegations of inappropriate behavior by students and staff. Deborah and Martin's son is now in private school, they say still healing from the emotional wounds. The Department of Education doing these investigations really is critical to victims who otherwise have no recourse. DeVos says the current way of investigating these cases does a disservice for everyone involved. Supporters of sexual assault survivors disagree. They're concerned she will ultimately shortcut these investigations, denying justice. In Washington, I'm Patrick Terpstra for Scripps News.